What's up, everybody? Welcome to the MNC Mornings Rundown. We are going to have a great one for you guys today. First topic. Boot, you ready for this? Absolutely. We have, do we play games now? Or do we wait for the Xbox One X? That seems to be Which that seems to be the, the question of the ages, right? And this is a great topic to talk about this weekend when the X is hot, hot, hot. I think the real thing is, is wait. Wait, you've waited three years for this. We've asked them. This is the We Heard You console. So if they've heard us, that means we've been talking about it for three years. Wait until Monday at midnight or Tuesday of next week. Let's just wait till the 7th of November and enjoy these things the way they were meant to be played. See, I'm agreeing with you, but let me tell you why you're wrong. First of all, we don't even know which games are going to get a 4K update. Is it Assassin's Creed? Is it Call of Duty? Like, what's going to be updated by the time this thing launches? We don't really know, so you might as well play. These games are going to look gorgeous if you have an S anyway. So I think, you know, why not the go ahead you're and you're looking for crap is all of the above are going to be enhanced on Tuesday. If not Tuesday, it'll be like a week from Tuesday. But the point of the matter is, is you've waited this long. Why do you want to look through this thing through a mud-covered screen? Let's go ahead and look at this thing. Yes, the yes, it's intended. a mud-covered screen, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think all of last gen compared to the X is going to look like that. I just don't think that it's a big deal. I think that if you want to play Call of Duty now, you should play Call of Duty now. It's not going to be... Uh, you Call know, of Duty may be the game. exception, but and everything else, wait till Monday. Next up, is it fair to criticize the Xbox One X for the large game files? Right now, we're seeing some of these reviews kind of pour in, and they're talking about, oh my god, it's so crazy. You got to install these large game files. It's ridiculous. It's 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 acidine. It's crazy. You're going to have to have the added expense of another hard drive. Uh, I mean, what do you think? Do you think that's uh, something that they should criticize or no? This is just another situation where the media is coming in and they have to find something to complain about. You're telling me you want more textures. You want more in resolution. You want better frame rates. You want better in HDR. You want more, 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 but then you don't want more space taken up? What era are you guys living in? Where is this media coming from? You don't go to an app. You don't go to a diner and get a plate of something full, and then you actually go to a buffet. You have a bigger plate. You have more food to fit on it. You have to actually have what the, the console can handle. This needs that bigger update. I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's just another example of the media complaining for absolutely no reason because it's Microsoft. Yep. I mean, you wouldn't. Uh... I, I know that I heard the bell, but you wouldn't have thought that they would have found a reason like that to complain. It's almost like they're trying to say because the Pro doesn't have these larger install sizes that it's better, but it's not. It's not. I'm just saying. Uh, let's see. Next topic. Bigger game changer, 4K or HDR? Uh, this is a toughie. Oh, man, it's, it is really tough because some games, I've noticed HDR doesn't change that much. While I think 4K changes things drastically, so I, I gotta say... go 4K textures crap, and I know you're gonna give your vote, but 4K textures are big. Think about it. You're yeah. actually seeing when you're walking through games now the gravel, the sand, the footprints, the tire tracks. These are the 4K textures. This is what 4K is bringing. It's clarity. Okay, HDR is nice. There's no doubt about it. But it's like the difference between looking at a Monet and a Manet. Nobody knows. Who knows art? <laughs> it just looks a little bit glossier. That's all it is. It looks a little bit more red. You get a little bit more white out there. But to be honest with you, I prefer the 4K textures, the 4K lighting. Yeah, I, I think that the 4K is a bigger deal. Like I said, HDR, uh, some games, it's not even that noticeable. You know, like uh, you switch it on or whatever, and you're just like, okay, well, I don't really notice that big of a deal. So I'm going to have to agree, even though we're supposed to really kind of disagree sometimes. But this one I'm agreeing. It's 4K all the way. Just, Give me a lot of is. agreeing on X weekend crap. It is. If you get a 4K, if you get an X, you don't even need a TV with HDR. Just get a 4K TV, a cheaper one, and you're, you're still going to be good. So Agreed. Um, here's something interesting. Donnie, Donnie Matrick apparently greenlit the Xbox One X. So who actually deserves credit for this thing? This thing was actually put into development over four years ago. Is it Phil or Don? Who do you think? I got to go with Don. And listen, a lot of people don't want to hear that. Phil's done, no, Phil's done a great job. Nothing Boo. that Phil's done I necessarily disagree with at all. But realistically, I think we're all a little bit hard on Don, right? I mean, listen, Don made a mistake with the Connect. Me and Crap were talking about this and Jay earlier. Don made a mistake by putting that in the box. That was a big oops. But if he's the one that truly lit this thing, this is really what I'm talking about. Donnie's always been in favor of what? Exclusive games, keeping content on Xbox. And he did have the envisionment, apparently, to give Xbox the stronger console moving forward. So, I mean, realistically, how can you take all of that away from he Donnie? He wanted to save point? his own ass, first of all. And then he, he also canceled games, closed studios. Uh, he was the one that really pushed Every the Kinect originally. Thought. I understand that, but he pushed the original Kinect. 
uh, which took away the exclusives. He had all the, the, the first party developers working on Connect versions, which really hey, took away the exclusives. Listen, crap, you want to go ahead and say that. You want to go ahead and say that. You say that. That's fine. But that's the same reason probably Andrew House isn't there because he pushed PSVR, and that's not working out for Sony. And he's not well, there. That's why Donnie's not there. They're going more games as a service now. That's why they're probably going to try to get EA access now. But I think Donnie D, obviously, Xbox wouldn't need saving if it weren't for Donnie D. So I like how we call him Donnie D, and his last name starts with an M. I know. You know my Thanks, point is it's very fun. I love it. Zaire made that up. And he gets so much credit. It works. But Donnie D is not the guy that you guys all throw eggs at and, and disgust so much. I would throw He's, eggs and lettuce at that man if I, I, I saw think, him. I think Ooh. he did a hell of a job. And I think yeah. if you guys like the 360 era, which everyone's still quoting air quotes, says is the best generation of all time, then you can't hate Donnie Matrix. Phil saved Xbox because Donnie ruined Xbox, <laughs> bottom line. Uh, <laughs> next up. Uh, Xbox One X now or wait till next generation? That's a Ooh. tough one uh, because Microsoft says there might not even be a next generation. They're just doing iterative upgrades. What's Sony going to do? Are they going to join that kind of party? It, it's very tough. I say go with the X now. It's going to be good for the next four or five years anyway. That's what That would be my vote. Just go, go with the X right now. That's going to be the best thing. Listen, everybody says this. Okay, you go back 20 years ago. Everybody said, save your pennies. Don't do this. Don't go on vacation. Don't do that. We're in an era right now where we are living in the now, people. So crap's kind of right in this retrospect. Go buy the X. Enjoy it. If you get three, four years for $500, and it's not costing you $500, everybody at least has an old vanilla PS4 or an Xbox One Fat Edition Day 1. At the very minimum, you're getting $100 back. So a $400 console right now for three years, break it down. You're using this thing for media, games, everything. If you're using it for everything, that's fractions, pennies a day, guys. Go out there, enjoy it. Now, next gen is coming. I don't agree with crap there. The successor to Xbox is on the way already. Xbox One X has a successor coming at some point. And my thing is this, even when that day comes, it's not gonna put you into the bankrupt zone. It's not. Enjoy the X now, use this for the next three years, and then look forward to the upgrade. I've spent $1,400 on Xboxes this gen, so I mean, it's not really a big deal to me. That, I my just... friend, is a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need a sound clip. I know, uh, but yeah, I would say just get the X now, enjoy it, live in the moment. You know, who knows what happens down the road. Uh, let's see, we got frame rate versus resolution. This is a tough question, Mooch, because I'm a bit split. I'm 50-50 on yeah. this. If it's a game like Assassin's Creed or Tomb Raider, I'll go resolution. If it's a game like Call of Duty or uh, Gears of War, I'll go frame rate. Uh, like, wh What's your thoughts on this? Well, I look, I look at it as a general overall broad subject because you're using exact spe specifications with different games. I would actually say that I would be more in favor of probably frame rate. And only reason being is that's the one thing we haven't gotten. We sat here for months and months and months, if not years and years and years, and said, what's the difference between 900p and 1080p? There's not a huge difference. Now, is there a big difference between 1440p and, and 4K? Yes, there's much more of a substantial leap. So am I interested in resolution? I'm interested. But frame rate really is the say-all, end-all as far as gaming. It really it helps with the, the mechanics, the game flow. Everything just runs smoother, and it just looks better. Even if you're playing a game in 60 frames, crap, and we know this from Gears multiplayer, it looks better in 60 frames than it does in the 30 on the single-player campaign. And that's why I think frame rate actually tips the scales and wins this one. Yeah, it could. I mean, everybody's going to say frame rate, right? Obviously, frame rate is king. I'm just saying, for me, it depends on the game. I'm okay right. with with 30 on on the game depending on what it is so um, next up custom controllers versus custom consoles uh, this was your topic but we did see this that Microsoft has announced there they have officially licensed NFL consoles now I think that's awesome like if they wanted to we always kind of rag on them for the, the controllers all the time but I actually like this idea and I'm gonna spend money to get a Ravens uh, controller. I mean, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I would say this. Listen, I look at controllers like people like pick up and, and collect sneakers, right? I like controllers. I think I, we give them a lot of slack because, listen, sometimes they're just like, hey, everybody, check out our new Sunrise Blue or our Sunrise Red. You know, it, it's like those are ridiculous colors. But when you have a theme that works, like the NFL or something that's actually branded that people care about, and they say, that's my team and that's my controller. Don't touch my controller. That's my team on it. You know what I mean? Like, that's a little bit more possession and it works for the situation. Myself with the consoles, I'll never get it. I know I'm in the minority for you hardcore guys out there, but realistically, when you take this thing home and plug it in, it's in your entertainment center. Even if your entertainment center is exposed, it still has a shadow over it. You don't see it. You don't see custom the custom consoles console. are great though. Like a lot of people like them. They collect them. Uh, it gives people a reason. If you're just about to jump in to to getting that particular brand of console, 
having something custom or the, of your favorite game might actually push Here's you Here's the thing, the Crap. Your it. custom controller is on your coffee table. Everyone sees it. Everyone talks about it. Everyone even picks it up when they're moving it to clean the coffee table. Nobody looks, moves, or goes in what your sold PS4 is more than a Darth Vader sticker on that PS4. Nothing. You know what sold it? The Darth Vader sticker. That's exactly. it. You can get a Darth a Vader sticker console. on a thing of Punnygrams, and it'll know, sell like the, mad. The fact that it was a legit official no. sticker sold that thing. Okay, so credit to the sticker, not the console. Let's get it's that still a custom let's, console. Let's get, that, <laughs> let's get that sticker on a controller and see how many you sell. Uh, next up, should Microsoft have waited till Monday to release the embargo for the Xbox mm. One X uh, reviews? Because it's getting yeah. some good reviews, some mixed reviews, some bad reviews. I think Microsoft has tremendous confidence in their product, so they put it out. Uh, I personally... I, I, I would have maybe waited. What, what do you think? Yeah, you got to wait here. You got to wait. The problem here is that it's the cart before the horse, everybody. Yes, having confidence in the, in the, in the actual box doesn't mean anything in this case because all the enhancements and what the box can do don't reveal till Monday or Tuesday. So, like, the problem is, is you have all these people that are chomping at the bit to get as many views as possible on YouTube. They can't wait. Let me get as many views as I can. I got to put this out there. Problem is, they didn't play anything that's enhanced yet, really. So, you're, you have these people launching an Xbox One X. And, oh, well, it's heavy. It's heavier than the other one. Okay, so it's heavier. That, that's a, these, the, everything's being deemed as negative. Because the, the console's true power and talent doesn't release until Monday or Tuesday. They should have released it on Monday because over the weekend, you can see that different different enhancements have been coming out overnight. I think Tomb Raiders came out yesterday. I think Assassin's Creed came out yesterday. This is a this is a big mistake on Microsoft's part. You waited this long, Microsoft. Let them start to talk about it when they actually have the product you want in their hand. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't make sense to have people reviewing Super Lucky's Tale at 4K and not... Assassin's Creed or Shadow of War or Call of Duty. Right. So yeah, they probably should have waited until they had stuff to review because they're getting lambasted for it. Uh, not very smart on their part. And Mooch must have done a bump before this because he's been like, man. No, it's a lot of like coffee. A, oh, a lot of coffee and I'm doing a lot of house. We got a lot of housework going on gotcha, today. So man. I'm like, damn, gotta man, be you, excited you, and energized. It's 9.30 in the morning. Yeah, you impressed me with that, man. That, that, you, was, that was pretty good. But hey, anyone, thank you guys for, uh, for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We are so close to the Xbox One X now. Uh, if you guys ever have any topics you'd like to see us debate and talk about, let us know and we'll be happy to do it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, MNC Mornings out.